back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica. I'm a therapist and content creator based in Dallas. And this is episode two of the early 30s wellness diaries, where I just share navigating my 30s, the ups and downs. And yeah, today I'm gonna take you along just like a wellness self-care day, I guess. It's just me, I have a day off. I wanna go for a walk. I wanna maybe clean up a little bit before the weekend. And yeah, that's kind of what I plan to do. So I'm making myself some breakfast. I've been trying to get more protein in, so I've been trying this brand called Good Culture for mixing it with my eggs. And it's been really good. I thought I was going to hate it. Thankfully, I didn't. Um, so now I've been just trying to use this up. I love that you could buy a little one to try. And I basically used half the other day and now I'm using the other half. So this in total, this in total will bring my total protein, because I'm also making a turkey sausage, to 29 grams, which is so great for the morning. And then I'm gonna do my walk. And it's gonna feel so good. I'm doing three eggs and a one fourth cup of cottage cheese. I know it looks disgusting, but trust me, it won't be. This is the brand of turkey sausage. It is so good. I'm so excited. breakfast i feel like i overcooked the eggs a little bit but that's okay and this is my turkey sausage it is so good plenty of protein i wish i had some sort of carb but i'm honestly i don't want to cook I, like i don't have bread or anything so um i'm just gonna eat this one of the things for me that i've noticed is that if i eat before having coffee like automatically my stress level is down and so i try my best to eat before i have coffee and also i try to do like movement before coffee like i'll try to kind of motivate myself with coffee um so if like i'm doing a walk i'll say i'm gonna do a 30 minutes or 45 minute walk and then i'm gonna grab a coffee so that's kind of like what i do and it's been so helpful I honestly, when I work out, sometimes I'll eat something, sometimes I won't. It just depends um, on the type of workout. Like I know if I have a workout class, I'll eat like a protein bar before. But if I do my 30 minute workout here at home, I don't necessarily eat before. But since I work, I'm just doing a lot today. I also don't want to be tempted with eating like a sugary, um, like a breakfast. Because usually like I'll go to a coffee shop and have croissants, donuts, things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I rather put meals that are gonna keep me full than meals that are just gonna last like a temporary dopamine hit that are satisfying. And there are days where I'll have meals like that um, that are just fully for satisfaction, not necessarily for fueling. Um, and that's the way I see it. So let's eat because it's 6.39 now and I have to get ready to go for a walk. It's been so hot here in Texas, so go going on a walk early is like a must-have so i really want to get to uh the walking place around like seven so this is the outfit for our walk i just got this new set from amazon and it was so great these were 28 dollars. this is 28 dollars, and i'm just wearing my brooks walking shoes um but yeah that's the fit i think it's so cute 
I have been looking at like my color analysis and like what colors look good on me and I think I I think my color analysis is I'm a winter and so colors like this look really good on my skin tone so it's looking really cute it does ride up a little bit but not so much it has kind of like these detachable underwear I did wear underwear underneath it though because it just felt like we needed some more protection <laughs> but yeah it's a little fit also I'm trying <laughs> socks like this I don't know how I feel about it like a true millennial I want to hide my socks <laughs> so I don't know um but yeah let's go head for a walk completely forgot I need to add a new screen protector for my apple watch but I want it to clean yeah so I wanted to clean this thing up it's a little dirty So we just made it to the walking trail. I realized that I didn't bring something to carry my keys. So I'm just gonna have to carry them in my, um, like in my hand, which sucks because I don't want to be carrying it like that. But I usually bring my little belt bag and I don't have that. So we're just gonna have to carry it in our wrist and I'm gonna try to do 30 minute walk. I did get here a little late. It's 7.28 right now, so I did get here a little late. And it's still though good, uh, it's still good weather right now. Um, so thank God, because it has been so hot here in Texas. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a walk. Really excited to get coffee after. I feel like I haven't had coffee yet. And it's already, I've been awake for at least an hour and a half now. So let's go.
started like drizzling today like i know that it was going to rain but i wasn't sure what time so i wanted to quickly get that walk in i did get two miles in i went to the coffee shop it was a very it, it was a much smaller coffee shop there was only like three tables so thankfully i was able to get a corner table it's always so awkward to film stuff in like corners and stuff but honestly nobody cares so i got a coffee it's a little sweet so not the best I think my coffee tastes like coffee so I, I could have asked for just like a lighter um like a un, like a half sweet iced coffee because I usually get vanilla but I've been wanting to try it I've only tried their Americano in this coffee shop so I'm gonna head out because I'm gonna head home I need a shower I need to just like get going I have a couple of emails to respond to I thought I wasn't gonna do any work today um but I have some emails that I have to respond to um but basically i yeah i have some emails that i have to respond to like sometimes the therapist like you're not gonna be able to not respond to these emails especially if it's like things that your clients need or like other people that you're working with that work with your clients like it's just things that have to happen so even though it is a day off for me i am gonna answer some emails it's gonna take literally less than 15 minutes so i'm just gonna respond and then the rest of the day is free just finished showering i've been obsessed with this color like i you've probably seen this color on me in the past like two three videos that i did because i just really like this color i just really feel like it suits me um but yeah i'm gonna answer some emails and then relax for the rest of the day but um i'll show you guys what do i what i end up up to not sure if i want to leave the house anymore um it sucks it's like once you're showered you're back in the house, you just don't want to leave, right? So. I love when my inbox is at zero. Usually what I do if I have specific emails that I'm not gonna answer till Monday, I'll put like action required, or maybe I'm waiting for a response, maybe their brain collabs, things like that, so. I can categorize them. It makes it easy for me to keep track of stuff. I did want to share my new journal. It is so good. I've been really enjoying um, like writing on it. You have a space to write affirmations. So it starts with I am, and then you write words that you want to affirm. And then you also write things you're grateful for. And I put them here. And it's really neat. I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. It's simple and really excited to use it. I wanted to show you guys because I just booked my next DEXA scan. If you don't know what a DEXA scan is, it's basically this machine. And I'll put a video uh, clip right here where you like a lay down and it scans your whole body. It gives you a little bit more information than just like stepping on the scale. I did my first one on March 22nd and I had a total of 45% of my body fat, 45.7% body fat. It'll give you your total mass, basically your weight, fat tissue, lean tissue, things like that. And then I got my second one on June 28th. So we can see there was a reduction in body fat, reduction in overall like weight, and then fat tissue reduction, and then lean tissue um, reduction as well, which not too happy about the lean tissue being lower. So lean, lean tissue is like your muscle. And so, yeah, this, I, I believe it is probably due to more just like not getting enough protein in, um, but I really love this. You get like a whole scan of your body. It'll tell you a uh, percentage of like losses. It'll give you your resting metabolic rate. It'll tell you kind of where you're at in terms of percentage. Now, this was really shocking for me. Let me show you. So this is gonna tell you again, like what's lower, what's like positive, negative, right? And it'll tell you kind of like where you range uh, based on your age group. 
um, which ideally we would want to see these in the yellow or the green. Like visceral fat is that fat that is not it's not sebaceous fat which is like the what's on top or you can that you can see visceral fat it's like internal where it's uh it usually is wrapped around your organs right so the more that you have that the more health problems that you may have and so i don't know why but it went up for me again it could just be time of day things like that like it accuracy i mean i th i feel like this could always fluctuate um but yeah that's a little bit concerning so we're gonna make sure that we're focusing on like nutrition so it'll kind of give you a idea of what this is so this is like the fat in that forms around your organs right and it is associated with increased risk of heart disease type of diabetes cancer things like that and so i just really think this is important to know um and it's kind of what I'm using in terms of measurement. Like, of course, I'm not being too hard myself, but I love being able to learn some of these things. They have blogs where you can kind of uh, read a little bit more about what this means, what having a, a healthy visceral fat level means, and then all that. So, yeah. If you are interested, I'm going to put a link because they have locations in... The Dallas Fort Worth area, Austin, Seattle, San Francisco, and LA. And you basically could just like search on Google, like DEXA scan. Um, I think even maybe your primary care physician could do DEXA scans. Um, might be more like orthopedic doctors, things like that, that do DEXA scans. So just another measure. And then you do get like little, they're called hangouts through this company where you can go in and they'll answer some of your questions in terms of like how to read your report they also have videos on youtube on how to read your report so it's just a different way than just stepping on the scale and just kind of seeing various um ways that you could measure success and um what you may need to focus on right so for me like that was concerning that my body fat percentage didn't decrease as much as i would have liked um, and that is definitely something that I can focus on in the next couple of months until my next one. Um, but really it is definitely probably focusing on nutrition. So I'm definitely thinking of, you know, working with the nutritionist again. I didn't really have a good experience the first time, but I think it really was just that specific nutritionist. So we will see, we will see, but I just want to share that, um, kind of share my journey with you guys. I am doing a French 75 cocktail. However, it's gonna be a mocktail, so it's gonna be alcohol-free. And I'm actually using alcohol-free spirits uh, for the first time. Never tried any alcohol-free spirits, but I've just been um, interested in figuring out ways where I can cut back on alcohol. I already don't drink alcohol a lot. Maybe I'll, during date nights, we'll have cocktails, things like that, but I kinda wanna reduce that. Um, but I do want to be able to know how to make my favorite drinks without alcohol. So I'm using for champagne. I'm using the Mionetto alcohol removed one. And then I'm using the Free Spirits non-alcoholic gin. And the only thing that I don't have is simple syrup. Which I think will be fine because I don't really like sweet drinks anyway. So we're gonna figure it out. Basically, it's the same. Um, it's the same recipe as you would do a regular French 75, except alcohol juice. So let's get to it. And I'm gonna use like a little peeler to kind of peel a little. I don't know how they do this, the little peels, you know those little peels that just like for garnish, a little peel, the glasses we're going to use, I'll get better at that, we need an ounce of 
And this is an ounce. An ounce of gin. Okay. And then half an ounce of lemon. Should do that. Like I said, the only thing I'm not using is It's definitely missing the um, the simple syrup, but it tastes good. It tastes really good. I tried to do a little garnish thing, but it didn't come out right. My <laughs> Mine came out better though. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one. I know. I don't know how to. Um, I don't know how to like. Honestly, I wouldn't even tell if I if it, it that it didn't have alcohol. No. It tastes like it has alcohol. I'll pretend it has alcohol. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna finish off watching our movie and having a little afternoon cocktail. I've honestly just been relaxing and just watching just movies that bring me joy like step up i haven't watched it in years um such a great movie hope you guys are enjoying the series so far if you want me to add anything else in this vlogs let me know and i will see you in my next video